Hey there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and, well, as you can probably see behind me there, well, we've got some very old pictures of myself. I'm here at my nan and granddad's house and, as a lot of you are probably familiar with when you go to your grandparents, there's normally a lot of very old pictures of you hanging around. And well, let's have a look. I mean, when I look at myself in these pictures, and I think this is probably me between the ages of four and six, it really is just incredible to think. I mean, that's literally two decades ago now. And, well, I mean, where has all that time gone, first of all? Obviously, on the personal level of think about how your life is now, and you're trying to explain to yourself at that age. I mean, first of all, think of what it would be like to see yourself at that age, and what your sort of very, very young child idealistic ideas of life might be, which will probably be very sad to then compare to what you're actually doing in your life. But, I mean... Imagine speaking to yourself there, and you're the same age as I am in that picture, let's say I'm five for example, and say, right, this is what I'm doing in my life now, and this is what you're going to be doing in 20 years' time. And I mean, in my case, uh, trying to explain that I now live on a boat would be an interesting one to start with, to certainly, uh, well, see what I thought about the idea back then. But obviously then saying, like, yeah, right, if you want to try and work towards living on a boat uh, so that you can have a nice sort of part-time job and try and make it as a writer and all the rest of it and post these videos on the internet, I mean, obviously you wouldn't have a con concept of the internet or how you would possibly be able to write things for a living because, well, it would surely be impossible to ever get a publisher in the future as it's difficult as it was back then. Um, and, well, like I say... Just imagine that and trying to say, right, you're going to be living here, you're going to be working here and this is what your day-to-day -day life is going to look like. And I suppose really, even just on a simple level, the places that you could possibly say, certainly around Oswald Street, like the shops in town and the different places and, well, the sheer amount of houses that have been built, the place is practically a different town to what it was when... Little Dan Brown there was wearing that non-standard school shirt for his school photo. So here, I believe we've got Dan Brown age 7 or 8, Dan Brown age 11, and then me at age 16. And well, if you consider that the 16-year-old uh, photo is from 10 years ago now, that's scary because, to me, the last school photo seems like a very recent thing. Um, but, for example, if you took yourself as an 11-year-old, where you're just starting to be able to understand more about the world and things. I mean, in no way, like, clued up on how life really is. But at least you could sort of try and explain to yourself what you would be doing now and, well, what would you think? And, well, I suppose really, more importantly, at these ages, what would you warn yourself against? Would you say, right, here's something that you definitely don't want to do or here's something that you definitely do want to make sure you do? Because, I mean, for example, if we go way back all the way over here, I would definitely say, right, if you're going up shelf bank on your bike, be very careful going down the steep side because, well, you will end up flying over the handlebars and having a pretty nasty incident with a tree. And, oh, you there, make sure that if you ever have some hot chocolate fetched in for you, don't ever try to pick it up when you've been told to leave it where it is because you will be rushed up in your father's arms in a very dramatic fashion to the orthopaedic hospital with some pretty severe burns on your arm and leg. And, well, simple things like that, I would say, right, don't do this. But, I mean, what about the wider things in your life and what you've done? Would you say, well, if you could say, right, I'm going to protect you from all the bad things that are going to happen emotionally or physically in your life. And then what would that make you now? Would you be far less of a person and far less experienced to know anything about life and know the value of anything? Or would you be, oh, I'm really happy and life's great because I've never had to do anything bad? Um, these are some of the deep philo philosophical questions that we all must ask ourselves when we obviously get the very realistic chance to go back and speak to ourselves at a young age. <laughs> anyway, um, well, I hope this video isn't just complete rambling and nonsense and maybe interesting to some of you, um, especially if you are interested in seeing a lot of pictures of me for a long time from many, many years ago. Um, but yeah, it's like I say, it's... 
quite an interesting one. I know there's certainly some things I would warn myself against. Certainly a couple of names I would say, right, if these people are ever coming your way, just run for the hills. But then, like I say, would that then take away your appreciation of good and bad in its true form? Because without the bad things, what would any of us have grown up to be? And how could we possibly know the value of good friends and things like that? Um, yeah, this is getting pretty deep. This is a lot more serious a video than I in anticipated when I first uh, pressed record. I was thinking of talking about, well, more stuff about, um, well, at this age, call that a five-year-old Dan Brown, I was still pretty much a decade away from having a mobile phone. And if you consider now that, well, there's children a lot younger than me in these pictures here who are literally given iPads and things like that to play with before they've even reached their first birthday. And that's just something that you grow up, your parents just hand you an iPad or a smartphone to play with in the car or playing videos and things like that. Well, I mean, hand one of these an iPad and my goodness me, I can't imagine what my reaction at that age would have been. In fact, I'm excited enough now when the iPad first came out um, and as much as I'm now jaded and used to having all this incredible technology, just imagine going back then and saying, you know all the stuff in Star Wars? Well, it's not actually that futuristic and you'll all have it in a couple of decades and you won't think anything of it. Well, what would you say to that? Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up now because I think I've been speaking for a few too many minutes. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll hand you over to Dan Brown, age five now, to close this video. And, well, I'll see you around soon. Oh, hello. Make sure you subscribe to my videos and like the Facebook page, whatever Facebook is. And, well, I'll see you around soon. Have a fantastic day and good day.